Welcome! This is a great little review on inequalities. Okay, so it's going to be very quick. Biggest reminder for working with inequalities and solving inequalities is uh, these three things. If you have a less than or greater than symbol, you use an open circle to graph. Less than equal to, greater than equal to, you used a closed circle to graph. And also, if you ever multiply or divide by a negative number, then you flip your inequality. Okay, so we'll see if that happens in any one of our examples here. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so first things first, we're going to solve for k. You would tackle this problem just like you would uh, solving an equation. The only difference is this scenario right here is where you multiply or divide by uh, a negative number. Here we are adding 14 to get k by itself. So we have k is less than or equal to 15. So we plot a solid circle at 15 and we want to shade those values that are less than, so we would shade that way. Okay, just kind of pick a different color for each one here. Solving for x means we're subtracting six, subtracting six, Okay, now the way you read this, it says 3 is less than all of the values for x. I like to have it rewritten so I have the x variable first in my expression. Okay, x is the bigger numbers. Okay, so I'm going to switch that around so I can read it like this. x is greater than 3. So we know if 3 is less than all the numbers that work, then we know all the numbers that work must be greater than 3. And it's not equal to, it's strictly greater than. So we're going to do an open circle at 3, and then we want values that are greater than 3. So we would shade that way. Still doing well, I hope. We're going to kind of keep going clockwise here. Uh, solving for n, adding 15 to both sides, I end up with n is less than or equal to 18. We also have the equal to, so it'll be a solid circle, and less than. All right, last but not least, let's pick a different color here. We see on this particular problem, right here, this example, that in order to solve, and we have a negative 18p, in order to solve, we are going to have to divide both sides by negative 18. Okay, so here is where this idea of flipping your inequality is going to come into practice. So negative 36 divided by our negative 18 is going to be positive. Okay. And negative 18 divided by negative 18, those will cancel and you'll just be left with P. So at this point, we are going to go ahead and flip your inequality. Now when I read this, uh, it means 2 is less than or equal to all the numbers that work. And you can read it that way and go ahead and graph it that way. Um, I like to have my variable first. right? And this is where the flip occurred. It occurred right here. okay? Right as soon as you know you have divided or multiplied by a negative number, you want to flip that inequality. Okay, so we're graphing P is greater than or equal to 2. That is going to be a solid circle at 2. And values that are bigger will be shaded this way. 
All right, hopefully that was a great little review for you guys. I know you're really doing great on all of your algebra skills, so keep up the good work.